Hey guys, how you guys doing? This is Kong. I'm gonna do a, a trailer review of Iron Man 3. I just saw it today. It was released this morning. I didn't get a chance to watch it and give you guys a review because I was busy doing my homeworks, running some errands, and you know, your everyday life, human life, that's is to be exact. Anyway, I finally got a chance to do the review when everybody is sleeping. So that way I can have some peace and quiet and uh, the, uh, the camera pick up the noise. Anyway, the good thing about the trailer that I noticed is that first you get to see Tony going through issues, going through problems that he have to face uh, internally and externally with his relationship to Peppers, in relationship to others. Uh, and basically that's to him and those who are close to him in society really he had to that's the role of a hero is to protect others and another good thing was they had I thought was awesome and cool was they had Tony Stark the I the Iron Man suit that he has from uh, I am from Iron Man 1 you know the the really Spartan you know, steal from when he was in Afghanistan or whatever he was that he was held hostage. He had the one from uh, the Avenger, uh, the first of uh, the two, the two different suit that he has, and then finally the third. And you will, and then we see different uh, suit with a different color scheme. You know, the red and blue, and then the 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 uh, the gold and blue and red. I think I'm not sure, but the don't correct me on that. I I just saw it, so just relax. I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, those are the good things. And the sec the good thing is that um the story is very grounded, very human, really very human everyday issues. And that's what I like about the Iron Man series is that they are about human. It's it's about the heroes that they go through the process, they go through the problem that they face. It's not some happy, excuse me, not some happy um, hero movie like you see in a cartoon with the hero save the day. It's like, you know, people do die. People get hurt and then you, relationships are broken. And that's how, that's how real life are. That's how human lives. And now I'm going through the bad thing. <sighs> what I don't really like is the Mandarin. And I'm really glad they had the Mandarin, but they had a white guy playing the Mandarin. That white guy, I mean. That just frustrated me. You know, that just frustrated me when Hollywood studio decided to pick a white guy to play an Asian role. That's like, that's like having an Asian guy playing a white role or an Asian guy playing a black role or vice versa. And that bothers me because one is you have, if you're, if you want to make money, you want to make your movie go or go and pay for the ticket, you got to stick to the source material. Best example, Dread, the recent Dreads, Spider-Man, you know, all the Avengers, you know, stick to the source material and your, and your, and people will go watch movie will thank you for it and they will give you money. And that's how you make money. You should be dedicated to your, your fans. And that's how you make money. But here, I hate it. You know, I don't like it when they do that. That bothers me. Like, a few of the movie I can think of is like Gandhi. They had Bill, uh, Ben Kinsley who played in, you know, the Mandarin now. And he played Gandhi. They had a white man playing in, as an Indian. I'm like, what the hell is that? Why can't they hire an Indian to play that role? Because Gandhi was a very pronounced and well-known character around the world. And that's just disgraceful to the, pet, to the Indians and to the world, basically. And I just can't figure out why they can't hire, find a, 
a suitable Asian guy to play the Mandarin. I mean, think about it. You got some 20, you got some 6 billion Asian that you can, pr you can have. There's so many possibilities there. I'm sure there are 10,000 good ac Asian actors out there. I don't know why they didn't take the time to find the guys. That is my only gripes. And then another gripe is there is a scene in the trailer where the Mandarin is clocking his gun. I'm like, what the hell? Why does the Mandarin need a, a gun? You know, maybe it's before he got the the ten rent the ten the ten rings. Maybe, maybe he needs some kind of physical weapon. That might be it. But the Mandarin is when he once he get those rings, he's he's like gods. You know, he had the powers to take out Tonys, even the and the Iron Man would would ease. But I don't know. I'm willing to let that go for now because. You know, just the trailers, they don't give you everything. They give you tits and pieces to let you kind of draw you in so you can get excited and go see the movies. And then another thing that really bothered me was when you see the planes, actually not plane, I'm sorry, uh, three different uh, helicopter and then the, on the side of the, uh, the, uh, the opening of the helicopter opens up and then there's like missiles and sidewinders and all sorts of, tom all sorts of missiles that the military use. So they fire it at Tony Stark house and I'm like can't the Mandarin just do it himself with ease and just use his, his arm and just like dog dog Tony can't he just do that I mean look at the hole he just literally, literally just smashed that worm creature you know why can't the Mandarin do that maybe he could we just don't know so I'm looking forward to, to really see that and there's just question I'm asking Question that I'm not so sure if it's gonna do well, but I'm willing to give this a chance. And another good thing, and a funny thing, if I know if you guys caught it, but there was, there is, if you pause it, there is a, a eight footer teddy bears that's like right behind the set, you know, with the when Tony Stark and uh, Pepper are are flying away from the windows, and you see the little teddy bears in the background notice that is I know they did that on purpose but it is there so pause it and there also there is a you know a Tony Stark chauffeurs he's laying on the ground so that kind of give us maybe that Tony Stark is kind of pissed because the man are gonna kill his chauffeur or maybe some speculation there I don't know this might be a driver for Tony to really use his intellect to really uh, to undermine the Mandarin. And then there's another scene where you see a, a, a figure where it's like a it's like a black shadow on the walls, and that's really like mysterious. And I want to know who that is. It might be his chauffeur, it might be someone else, maybe someone close to him. We don't know at the moment. So we'll see in the, when the movie comes, or maybe more trailers comes, and. I'm really excited because uh, this kind of gave me going. I'm really excited because Tony is he's a playboy billionaire with the Iron Man. I wish I was him. I wish I had the money. I wish I had the suits. You know, it's uh, what every poor guy want to be. Not without the alcoholic stuff, just the billionaire and the hot chick and the nice cars. You get what I'm saying? But <laughs> anyways. I find this trailer really good. I, I, I'm definitely waiting for more trailers to come because I want to see more. I like I like Iron Man three. So, bring it on, baby. Um, there's so much movie to see. There's many more to come out. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry. To, I'm keeping this thing really going long, too long. Anyway, please check me out on Thursday, and Friday morning because I'm definitely I'm gonna go and see. Uh, Atlas Cloud, Atlas or Cloud, Atlas Cloud, one of the other ways. Anyways, please check me out, subscribe to me, and I'll post a link to that, uh, the Marvel web, the, the trailers on there somewhere. So please subscribe, check my video, support me, and I'll do the same for you guys. Um, support me because this is my, uh, my, I love movie, this is my way to, uh, pour things out and, um, talk to, 
to you guys at the audience. So please subscribe. And uh, take care, guys. Peace.